Hey everybody, welcome back to Tapestry. Let's keep weaving that tapestry. Okay, so my turn again. And you know, I got all this food because I was expecting to explore more, but I spent a little bit more time. Also, I covered up, I missed the first level of conquering the island. This military is pretty nice. Whenever I explore, I get to place an outpost immediately. That's incredible. Um, I don't think I want to explore anymore until I get militarism into play. So while I was expecting to do a whole bunch of exploring right now, I only off my explore track have one, two, uh, three more explorer options along here. And I would like those to happen when I'm being very militaristic about it. That's really awesome. So what I could do is I could just do income right now, immediately, get two more resources for doing it really quick, advance another tech, and... I'd get this into play, then I could start exploring, and um, you know, conquering places as well. So that's really cool, but I don't have to rush after that right now. I think I'm gonna shift gears, which is a big part of this game. Up till now, this has kind of been my favorite line. Um, in fact, my only thing I've done so far, but I am going to start uh, doing, because I would like to move in here, get this, conquer him, and, and potentially conquer this one since he left it open, so I can get this and co couple two. So, I'm going to branch out into the uh, martial arts. Alrighty, let's go. First of all, I got to spend a resource. And hey, I got a ton of food now. I might as well spend it. And that means I get to expand. And I can expand here, 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 or here. Because they're touching my capital. Obviously, I'm going to come over here. Boom! I'm coming for you, Blue! And he says, yikes! Um, but you know, he, he left himself open there to, uh, to get those 10 points. So, uh, now, I do not get the benefit of this tile again. That happened when I explored. I found this technology, which turned out to be, what was it, uh, bakery tech uh, up here in the mountains. Uh, but now, every time I claim this, I now have more terrain. That means I can expand in different directions. I can expand on him. Although, there's a bit of danger. He could expand and take me out as well. Uh, so that's something i got to be a little bit nervous about. It all depends on what he's going to do. But I know he can't do anything more because he's out of cards. That's the equivalent of me being out of resources. So I know it's safe to expand right now because he can't counterattack. So I'll be able to move in before he can move in on me. So the timing is perfect. So I moved here and I don't get the main reward of the tile, but I do still get rewards. Every time a human player, uh, this doesn't work for the dummy, but every time a human player uh, conquers terrain, you roll these two dice... And you get, well, you get to choose one of them. And in this case, I can choose seven points, or I can choose the reward of the tile I just conquered. So I could get another piece of tech, or I could get seven points. So uh, the red die is always points. Uh, it's anywhere from four to seven points, although there's also a points equal to the number of the amount of terrain you've conquered so far, which for me is not very much, only two. The other one is just get a resource, you know, one of each of them, or get the resource of where you just conquered. And man, I mean, normally, how could I say no to seven points? I'll tell you how to say no, because getting another technology is like do a whole turn for free. Normally, I would have to come over here to get tech, and that means I couldn't do other stuff. So I'm going to take a tech, because that uh, I, get, I found another tech up here in the mountains when I conquered it. So compasses, library. Ooh, library could get me another big building, a really big building. You can see there's a picture of it over there to uh, fill in a lot more of my city. But to get to the top level, somebody has to have mastered writing, which is, oh, which step is that? I think that's like the third, yeah. So somebody has to have made it all the way up to writing. Hmm. And the problem is that somebody would have to be me uh, because the uh, dummy player never builds buildings. The dummy player does move up on these tracks. So like this one, it just says somebody has to have um, made it to level three on exploration to get the top assembly line ability. I know they might do it, although I might do it. These other ones or this writing one, I would have to do that, which means to be able to get the library, I would have to build at least two houses which increases my population income. Um, but you know what? Since I'm planning on doing lots of exploring and uh, you know, under military rule, I think the compass makes more sense. Because when I get this level up one, I'll get two more tiles, which means I'll be able to do more exploring. With uh, You can't explore uh, if you don't have those tiles. Okay, so I took that uh, as a free thing. So that was my turn. 
Uh, dummy player is out of cards, so it is time for him to do his income. And he goes um, top left to bottom right. So he goes like this, then this, then this. And remember, depending on the difficulty level I'm playing, he might have more or less steps that he would do. But one step he always does, I believe, is he checks his favorites. Both the blue and the gray have to decide if they still want to keep focusing on this. And what they do is they have to check, have they reached the end? If so, it's not their favorite anymore. Or have they fallen behind? Blue's favorite is science. He's still in the lead on science, so it will stay. Uh, if, it did, if, it, if it wasn't, if you know I had moved ahead of him, he'd say, oh, science is not my favorite anymore. He'd roll, and military would become his favorite. Although science could become his favorite, and he would still double down on trying to beat me on science. But anyway, so he's in the lead on science. He's happy. Gray's favorite is technology. Gray's in the lead, so he's happy. So they're not going to change their mind. Now me, I'm pivoting. I started out exploring, but I'm going to pivot over to military now. They are not pivoting. Next, they do their special ability which is over here. They don't have big fancy mini games like we do. Theirs is, um, let's see, a scientist gets no special ability in um, the second, which is where he's at right now. He's, only, he's doing his second one, so no special ability. But if he's still a scientist, when he gets to his third ability, he will get a free roll of the die to advance anywhere, which is like taking a whole turn for free. So right now he gets no benefit. And the gray, Shadow Empire, doesn't do any of these things. All the gray does is move forward and try to snag these buildings. Okay, so he activated his power, but he's not high enough level to do it. In next era, he would do it. Next up, he gets points. And what points? Well, we look down here. Uh, since this is, this is the one he's about to activate, he gets one point for every conquered terrain and every big building he's built. He hasn't built any buildings. He has conquered one, two, three, so he gets three points. He also gets, um, well, in the first one, he gets no points for advancements on military or science, so he doesn't get any there. And he gets one point for tech and explore. He's done one, two for tech and explore, so he gets two more points. Now, that doesn't sound like much, but as you can see, in future income phases, um, you know, it's going to be two and one and two times how many times he's done it. Three and two and three. So it's going to start multiplying significantly as the game goes on. So anyway, so he got his points. Now he fluffs up his deck a little bit more by putting two more cards in it. And let's see, now he um, gets another tapestry card. I never know what his tapestries are. And there's a reason for that. If I choose to attack him, well, I mean, you know, tapestry cards are mostly what you've seen. I, but there are a few. I, in the entire deck, I think there's six trap cards. And if one of these is a trap, when I move in to try to take that territory, he will play the trap, which means, boom, he'll end up conquering me instead of me conquering him. So, the more of these he builds up, the more danger it is to attack him. So, all the more reason to attack him sooner than later. So we'll see what happens with that. So he gets another one. He takes one of these. He doesn't care what it is. He just puts it down here to cover this up to indicate he, I mean, he has no tapestry. Me, maker of fire, goes on to a technocracy. He is just whatever. He's a mystery empire. Um, and since he did not pass first, I was the one who income first, he does not get his benefit of two extra points. So he didn't get, that's why I got there before him. And now finally, he reshuffles his deck and who knows what they are going to get up to over there in Otama land in the future. Okay. So that was it for him. And now I'm going to militarize. Oh, actually, I can't immediately. I now, my next step on military gives me a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, another tapestry card. And if I want, I can spend a resource to build an armory. It'd be the next time I do it that I can move in on him. So, oh, I thought I was safe, but I forgot. I have to do two steps before my next attack. Now, that's not entirely true. I do have an option. Um, I, I could just spend a resource, come here, and then hope he doesn't attack me. Or, this is crazy, I could do income right now. Because remember, one of the steps of income is I get to upgrade a tech. If I upgrade this tech, boom, I get to do a conquer right now before he gets a chance to conquer me. Because I'm worried. He could conquer me. Uh, if the two cards he's about to draw, if these are a conquer action, he's going to take me. And then that cuts off my ability to expand in here. If I ever want to get into the center, I'd have to come around another way. Uh, but he might have a trap as well. So it might all be for nothing. But uh, this is crazy. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Because I totally forgot. I thought I was going to get to attack, but it's two steps. And he might go before I can move in. Um, that's the danger. It's, the, I mean, it's a very dangerous game to move up on people because they could surprise you and, mo and move against you. So um, let's do it. Let, I, I, this is crazy. I, I I have never done this before. I mean, I've got so many resources. Now, I'm not going to overflow. There's a danger of passing too often. You'll have so many resources you don't earn anymore. 
And the bummer is, I haven't done anything to give me more points to increase the point. I mean, if I build one more farm, I'll get four points um, every time I pass. Ugh. Ugh. All right, I'm going to take a chance. I'm not, I'm not going to do it because I, I don't want to do income again until I can build another farm and get those four points. I might regret this. So, I'm just going to keep on doing military, and i got to spend a resource. I think I'll spend another of these, because this was for all my exploring that I've suddenly decided I'm not going to do, because militarism is in my future. So, I'm doing this. I get another tapestry card, and it is dystopia. I can go dystopian somewhere down the road. Uh, gain any landmark from the landmark board. And, oh my gosh! These tapestries are all amazing, as you might imagine. Wow! That's something. Okay, still no traps though. I wish I had a trap because then if he attacked, I would. If I had a trap, I would wait for him to come for me, and then I would knock him out, and then I'd be able to counterattack. I haven't gotten any traps yet. All right. So anyway, so I can spend a resource to build my first armory, which means I will increase my income of culture by two. Let's do it. Let's go on ahead and spend um, some money uh, to get the bonus of building an armory, and I am one step closer. Now one more space and I get a free resource. And then one over here and I've got a line filled up so I start getting points off of my capital. All right, so that was that. And here's the moment of truth. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I, 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 oh, yes. No. Okay, so I know he wants to, he, he's not just taking whatever. He wants to move to the closest building, right? So that's this building, this building, this building, oh, so it's any of them, because they're all equidistant. This card, there will be a tiebreaker. If it's military on the top, I will be very, very sad. And it's not, <gasps> that was a roller coaster. On the top, it's his favorite. And I've always his favorite military, because uh, the last time I played, his favorite was military, but it's not. He, he uh, increases on his favorite, which means he does science. <sighs> okay, now I still have to be worried, though. Because that gives him another tapestry card. He has three traps, or three cards that could potentially be traps now. So I'm even more scared. But anyways, that's what he did. Um, the shadow wants to move to, to whichever one he's furthest along. Which is this one, I think. Because he's two here. He, no, he's two here, and he's two here. So it's one of them. The tiebreaker is science, so he's or technology, so he's going to go up there. That was it. Okay, so that was my first moment of truth. Now my second moment of truth. Attack! And uh, we'll, we'll send some population to run that. So I have a choice. I can either build another, which means, hey, I'd uh, complete stuff or get extra resources and whatnot. And I would start getting um, victory points based on the stuff I've uh, conquered. But that's not what I've come here to do, folks. I've here come here to, to kick ass and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of gum. So we're moving on in. And now... If this were a human player, they if they had a tapestry card in their hand, they would then say, uh-uh, and then boom, the uh, hunter becomes a hunted. But for him, he has three cards. What I have to do now is I just have to look through them one at a time until I run out or until I reveal a trap. No trappy, no trappy, no trappy. Okay, boost of superiority. Bye bye No trappy, no trappy, no trap. Oh! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. And this one stays. This could also be a trap. Alrighty, so, as you can see, a human player has the option to use a trap or not. And you might not, because if you use this as a tapestry, then you get 10 points. That's huge! But the dummy will always use it as a trap, which means he discards the card from his hand when I try to conquer his territory, and um, if he does, he gains a resource, although he doesn't get a resource, because uh, he doesn't care about resources, but... Boop! I am toppled. Toppled. Actually... Wait a minute. Is that the case? I definitely recall something in the rules about that center being special. That's uh, By the way, the rules? One, two, three, four pages. So it shouldn't take me too long to double check that. Uh, all right. Um, we wear trap cards. Traps are disguised. If you uh, gain control of the territory, you still get benefit. Uh, you may uh, break deals with opponents. Nope. Yeah, so it's only that thing about solo. Okay, well, let's look in the solo rules. Because I remember there being something about him never taking the center. Or it never, I, I think it was just the. Right. If the conquered territory isn't the middle board. Yeah. So that's it. He conquered me. I took a chance. I I'll, And so now I do not own this territory. He still owns the territory. Um, And I get nothing for, no, actually that's not entirely true. I do get something. Every time I conquer, whether I succeed or not, I still get to roll them bones. So let's see what I got. 
Four points or a population. Meh. Disappointing. Four points or a population. I'll just take four points to make up for that five points that I'll never get. Um, one, two, three, four. Because now, no one else... If there were other players and these were humans, no one else can ever move in there now. Well, wait a minute. How does that work? Because on the other side, there's a first, second, and third. Ah, uh, folks, this is something... Uh, this might be wrong. Check the Klingon subtitles, folks. Like I always say, the Klingon subtitles will make it all clear because there is something special about this because there are three... And it, once two people are in there, it's impossible to do. So I might be forgetting something. And maybe I did get my five points because maybe a trap can't be done here or maybe this is any number of players can come there. I don't really remember for sure. But I don't want to sit here and read the rules all the way through. Um, and bore you to tears. One other thing I've got. This is a summary of all the tech. This is a summary of all the actions, but I don't think you would talk about it here. Again, click on subtitles will make it clear whether this was legal or, or whether I could have moved in here anyway. But we'll say I couldn't. Say la vie. I got four points out of it. And now, he could still come for me. He could still come for me, which he might do. Uh, that would be a turnabout as fair play. Okay, well, that was that. Um, I, I moved. I spent a resource to get four points. He says hi. I would like to do military. Anything? How about military? Anything? How about science? So this guy is... Mo or not science. Tech. He just made the uh, forge. The forge. They don't have a thing to build. They just get all their buildings over here. And these are worth more and more points to them over the course of the game. So he just crossed the line. Got the forge. I can never get it now. And he says military. And um, so... And I have no traps, so he moves in, and down I go. I now am back to controlling only one bit of territory in the world. Now, he cannot take this, because remember, if there's two things, standing or not, nobody can move into that space. So, oi, that, that did not work very well. Oh, no. I mean, there's, all, well, there's only one out of every six cards in here, is it? Or whatever. No, there's six in total. Although, I forgot, I did forget, in the solo game, a lot... A lot of the cards are taken out. Although, to be fair, two trap cards are taken out as well. Oh, well. I'll live with it. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll still... We'll still um, we'll, we will still overcome. Um, but now, if I want to try and topple two opponents, i got to kind of come around this way to get to this one, and maybe if he expands elsewhere. So we'll have to see how that goes. Okay. So, uh, that was his turn. He, uh, he did me good. Back to me. All right. All my plans have fallen apart now. <laughs> um, right. So what do I want to do? Hmm. Well, I could go on ahead and rest. But, I mean, I've still got resources. And if I move up here, I get a building to add. If I cross over this line, I get a building to add. I would like to get another building to add uh, to, my, to my little uh, fledging town. So if I come over here, I get a population and I get points equal to the number of explore tiles I've got, which is three. If I rest first to do this, and that gives me two more, then I've got um, five, so that this would be a five-point thing instead. And it's not like it's not like he's about to cross. I think I am going to rest. I think I am going to rest um, because hopefully they're not going to jump me on. They're not. They're not going to beat me to this. I can still get this. He's not going to beat me to this. I've got time, and I'd like to advance the tech before. So so let's wait a little bit. Okie dokie. So, uh, resting time again, which means, once again, I get to activate. And let's see, what do I have access to? I have access to building my first house or my first market. And so that has an immediate effect of increasing my population uh, or my house buildings or my... All right, so basically, both of these just give me more income of population or money. But they also mean, later on, I'd get to roll the science die or get, do a... Uh, uh, a conquering, or I'd get another is that a tech card. I think that's a tech card, or I'd get to do a free explore. Hmm. Yeah, another free explore if I'm doing my military thing. Okay, so I'm gonna go this way, which means I uh, get another building, and boom, I have now filled this area in, and I get a resource of my choosing. Although if I went over here. I will have filled out this line, which means I get um, one point, but I'll score it multiple times. But no, I think I'd rather have a resource right now than points. I'm still beating him on points, although he's about to rest too. So, what resource do I want? Okay, this is what I'm going to start exploring, because I'm about to become militaristic. So let's get take that food, so I can explore more. 
Alrighty, so I, I did that. Now I do a tapestry, and these are all good. These could all have a huge impact and push me in different directions. So do I stick with my military plan and start exploring like um, crazy? Well, here's the problem. Exploring like crazy means I won't keep the tiles to score them on the next military step. But no, I'm going to want to do it. I, I, I'm, I'm going to stick with it. It's all about the military, yo. We'll save dystopia and academia for later. I might regret that. So, um, and also, by the way, I'm the first to pass again, so I'll get even more resources. So I put this in. I get two more resources of my choice. Let's take another food. And um, let's take another culture, because I'm about to need more culture. Actually, what the heck? Let's just take, yeah, no, another food, another culture. That's fine, because I'm going to get two food and two culture there, too. All righty. So um, I got the two resources. And now, for the entire year, until the next time I rest, whenever I explore territory, I can place an outpost on the newly explored territory for free. And now that's interesting, because that means I could very quickly expand around here, or, um, or you know, because, because he's kind of cut me off. So cool, cool, cool. All right, so we're going to do this. We're going to conquer the world while trying to stay away from my neighbor who's very mean. And um, so that's that. Now I get an upgrade. I will take the compass, which means I get two more terrain tiles, which I'm going to need for exploring. And, uh, um, and I will be able to push this up to the top level because he has made it over here. And now I make points. I get one point for every tech. That's three points. One, two, three, because I didn't build any more uh, markets. And I get one point. Oh, I still didn't do a line, so I don't get any points off of that. And now I get my income. One money, two population, two culture, two food, another tapestry card. And now we've got terraforming. Oh, terraforming means I can build. I've had this before. I can build over the spaces where normally I'm not allowed to build. And I get five points every time I do it. That could be huge, especially if I get a really big building. Well, actually, no, it doesn't matter, because even a little one could do it. Um, anyway, so terraforming and another tile from uh, that. So I've got a lot of tiles to explore and grab lots of stuff. And because I'm military, I'll just be laying claim to them like crazy. Although I'll be making like a big target on my back that he could come in and try and take me out. So we'll have to see how well that works. So that was it. I am done. We have now moved on into the militaristic portion of our story. And meanwhile, he says, hi. Blue would like to advance whatever he's farthest on, which I think is science. So he's just going to advance science, which means he's going to roll, which gives him one over here. All right. And uh, Gray says, hey, just whichever, I'll take the... Uh... Right, so... <gasps> oh, no! Gray's catching up with me. Oh, I got to get my lighthouse. All right, so that was it for them. Easy peasy. Boop. And now, it's a whole new world, a new fantastic point of view. Okay, so um, I want to explore like crazy, which uh, how fortunate. Let's go on ahead and spend one food and this money. Money is particularly, I maybe never do another tech because I've been getting tech in other ways. So I'll spend the money and the food to jump over here and phew, beat this guy, the uh, lighthouse. It is mine. And um, where can I... Oh, I'll think about that in a second. So I got to put it someplace. I can't build over the gray dots. So I can't put it here. Or maybe I put it here. Because then I only need one more to get another resource out of there. That might be kind of nice. And I can start... But anyway, so I'll worry about that in a second. Because I, that's what I got. Now, I get another tile. And I get to do an explore. Which means I get points. I get the resources. And I immediately conquer whatever I explore. And as you can see... I got a whole bunch of tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven tiles. Right. Uh, so I want to do this in such a way that it maximizes points, but what do I want? Do I want another population? More money? Two more tiles? Yes, please. Money, food, culture, or another tapestry card? Uh-uh. We are going to get two more tiles for even more exploring. So this wants to be next to mountains, forest, and water. So like this means, hey, it's, um, it likes that, it likes that, it likes... Ah, oh, the water doesn't match up, because the water... Oh, that's not good. Plus, if I put this here, he just might move right in there. But if he does, then I could counter, because what's the chance he's got another trap, right? What's the chances? If, I, if he moves in here, and then I move in there... But that's the thing. He'll only move in here if he can do it with his special thing, where he moves in and he topples. He's very tentative. Oh, man. 
And plus, I don't get as many points. I mean, but I, I can't put it here anyway because I don't control this. It has to go here or here. Those are the only two places I could put it. So let's put it down here um, where I get almost nothing. If I go like this, I get a point for the forest and a point for the water, and that's it. Two points. So if I come up here, I get water, water, water. So I get three points if I go that way. But that makes me have to go even longer around to get to them. So I'll just come down here. I'll go like this. Uh, forest matches and... Oh, no, no, no. Like this. Forest matches, water matches. I get two points. And more importantly, I get two more explore tiles. Uh, one that generates population, one that generates money. Okay. And uh, because I'm militaristic, I immediately claim it. I now own two pieces of property. And that means I can now expand here and then here and then no, and so on. And just sneak up on from behind. Okay. So that was all very exciting. Oh, and... And... A lighthouse. Mm, I do not want to hang it off the edge like this. It would complete a line, but I think I'll just go like this. That was actually pretty good because now one more thing right there and I filled in another square and I'm starting to work on vertical stuff. We'll go like that. That looks pretty nice. Lighthouse right next to my uh, bakery. Okay, cool. So that was that. And you're going to be seeing a lot more of that as I... But next move is I'm going to want to come in here because now I've got 50 bajillion tiles, which means I'll get roughly 50 bajillion points plus another big building. Yeah. Okay. He, meanwhile, he says, oh, they both just want to do whatever the tiebreaker is. So he's going to do his favorite, which is more science, which means he just took away the apothecary. Uh, the apothecary will never be mine. And that's more points for him later on. And Gray says, oh, I would also like to do science. And he rolls... Or, oh, he moved up. He got the Apothecary. Uh, he doesn't take tech cards, but he does take another tapestry, which could be another trap. And meanwhile, uh, Gray wants to go up on science, and he gets to roll. And which means he goes up on... <gasps> Phew! Explorating. Oh, that was a close one. He almost beat me to it. Okay, so that was it for them. He's peasy. Okay. So... I was... All right, so I'm, I'm going to do the military now. Which, to move here, means I need one... Uh, and I'll and I'll and I'll use a population because I don't care about science. I've completely ignored science up till now. So I'm moving over here, which gives me the barracks. So this is another one. I can just like put it right down here, and now two little ones will fill in both of these, and I'm close to getting all the way up there. Let's go like that. Okay, boom, looking good. Uh, there might be a better one, but I'm just gonna go with that. And where'd I go? Okay, and I get one population, and I get points equal to the number of explorer uh, tiles I'm ready to go to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points. One, two, three, eight. Nice, nice, nice. Boom. Okay. Yeehaw! Meanwhile, he says, oh, okay. Ah, see, now, he's out. So we have to check. Is there a hand here? Yes, there is. So he is not going to do these things. He is not going to advance on exploration and him advance on tech. Because the hand, he's going to pass early. But it wasn't early enough because I beat you to it, pal. So um, he is going to do his income phase. Once again, he's got to check his favorites. Blue is still ahead on his favorite. Or, so they're, they're happy with their favorites. Uh, now Blue gets to do his, uh, his scientist bonus, which is income turn number three. He gets to roll the science die, which moves him up. On science, and because he just landed here, because this science doesn't have EX, that means he just landed here, he gets to do this again. And he moved up again! Wow, big moves for Blue. Okay, and Gray uh, doesn't do anything. All right, so that was him getting his bonus, now they get their points. This is going to be a little bit more painful than before. He gets two points for every big building. So there's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. He gets two points for every territory he's conquered. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. He gets um, one point for every step on military and science. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, seven. All righty. And one point for every step on tech, which is one, two, and exploring three. So three more points. Boom, boom, boom. He's just about caught up with me. So those are his points. He adds two more cards to his crazy deck of craziness. He um, gets another potential trap. Ah! He covers up this, and since he was not the first to do it, he does not get his bonus of three points, and he reshuffles his deck, ready to go again. Okay. And, um, right. Yowzer, wowzer, dowzer. Oh, by the way, there should be a new tech out here. Totally forgot about that. Which is, what is the technology? Irrigation. That's good to have. Okay, my turn. So... Buttons. Where are we going? Um, 
if I, I see. So no, I want to keep exploring. But now I got to go boom, boom before I get to another explore, I got, which is ships, which will give me a point for, which will give me two points because I've only got two locations. And I could build another, um, what is it, another farm, which gets me into the four point zone. Oh, I like that. And then I could do another explore and then another explore. And remember, every time I explore, I want, I want to explore as much as I can to maximize this empire. So, plus, I'd like to get to another big building if I could. So, let's do it. Let's do it to it. I need to spend a food and something. Let's just have it be some population. I get, unfortunately, only one, two points. Not too exciting. But I will spend a resource, that population, because I'm not planning on doing any science, uh, to build another farm, which means, boom, I have filled this space in. That area is filled in. I get another resource. Let's make it uh, some more food so I can keep pushing this agenda. Nice. He says, relax. All right, so he wants to move forward um, closest to the end, which means he moves up here. He's made another big building, the Awesome Academy. Big old thing, which again, just is worth more points to him because he collects all his buildings there. And um, he does not do this effect. This is a crazy effect. This is copy the effect of another occupied space. Uh, as you get higher and higher, because he's just learned academic research. He just left biology behind. So these get more and more powerful as you go. Uh, Gray wants to do his favorite. So he's just moving up here, which does nothing. So he's done. Okay, my turn again. I'm going to continue Explorer Macaton, which gives me another Explore tile. It gives me another farm, which means I fill this up, which gives me another resource. So how about some more food? Do I want more food? Or do I want more? Because maybe I want to do some of these. Because I need... All right, so we'll go like that. All righty. And... Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait a I don't get food. No, dummy. It's not get food. It's uh, get that for later. So I'm, I'm getting more food coming. It's instead spend a resource. So I'll spend this guy to do an explore action. And what's it going to be? Ooh, if I explore this, I get science. Although I don't get the benefit of whatever I roll. Population, money, culture, food. Money, money. Uh, or another tapestry card. I have enough tapestry cards. I want to do some science. So, Although, uh, I, I, I want to go here. And all I'll be touching <laughs> is one desert. So I will get one point for that. Because the mountains are in the wrong place. The water, everything's in the wrong place. Darn it. But I want to get that science. But it's only one point. But okay, let's do it. One point. And that means I need a super... When I come here, I want to have uh, something that has desert on both of these sides. So the desert matches. Nothing else matches. I just get one crappy point. Not excited about that. But science. My first science roll. And I move up on um, tech. Which I was never going to move up on at all. I am very sad. I wanted to move up. Uh, I wanted to move up on here because I don't want to do this. I want to be able to skip over this to get to that. Oh, wait, no. All right, we'll say I love you. I got... Hmm, actually, looking about this, hold on a second. I don't think I want to do science. Because I don't want to... Because if I do a uh, science... Um, it, it's a science with an X, so I won't get the benefit. I want to get this benefit. I want to get this benefit. I want to get this benefit. So, no, I do not want to build a science. So, let's put this back. I would rather... Gives me something that has culture or food to focus on my two main things. So it's one of those two. And maybe I can get a few more points out of one of these. Uh, right, because this is all foresty. So there's one, two. Well, it's two points. Because again, I mean, it's the best I can do. There's nothing here. The best I can do here is two points. So let's do that. So I explored that instead. Instead of science, I got another food for more exploration. And I got two points, which is better than one. Okay, so that was my explore, and hey, because we're militaristic, boom. And because of that, boom. Oh, wait a minute, do we still get to do this? Whenever you explore territory, you may place an outpost on a newly explored... Oh, it's place an outpost. I think, it, it doesn't say conquer, which means I get to roll the conquer dice, so I just get to place it, but I don't get to conquer. All right, say lobby. I'm still, it's all about just moving over here to try and conquer him from behind. And, you know, the more of these I have, the more points I get. Especially if I were to, oh, I don't know, make some gosh darn markets. Which is what happens over here, which I'm ignoring. Ah! Alrighty, so that was that. Um, right, so, cool. Dummy says... He wants to move uh, to the next available building. This is one, two, three away from him. There is nothing here. Um, this one, yeah, so it is this one. And he doesn't care about those. He's not going to do it. Gray says, hey, I just want to move up on science, which um, Gray never does anything other than take buildings. So that's it. 
Done. My turn again. And I think I'm going to explore some more, which means I need a food and two resources of my choosing. Let's do a food and a what's he? And I get two more tiles. And I do an explore. So let's, all right. So I'm going to put it here so I can keep expanding. And I'd like it to be something that has mountains, water, and desert. This has mountains, water, and desert, but not in the right way. So, because I'd like to get three points out of this. All right, so here's desert and mountain and water. Oh, this might be it. Oh, it's the science one again, which wasn't, I wasn't happy about it. But that gets me three points and a science advancement. Oh. And see, if I do the science advancement, now I don't have to. This is optional. I don't have to take it if I don't want to. Because if I take it and I roll explore, that means I'll get here and I won't get the benefit, which is I build another farm. I score points for all my farms, and I give up two tiles to get five more points when I develop cars. Because we are definitely in the Industrial Revolution now. Oh, but I get three points, because it's ideally placed. Are there any others? No, there were none. Um, uh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. That's the only one that'll work ideally. The interesting thing is if I roll and I get a science, I'd immediately get another science. So I'd roll twice. No, I, I think it's more important. I want to. I don't want to science my way past stuff I don't want. Oh, that's the other thing too. I'll do it because I will roll the die. Once the die is rolled, you are not required to take it if you don't want it. So I'll take it if it's one I'm happy about. Let's see. How did I want this? I wanted like this, correct? Water matches, desert matches. Oh, wait. No, no. It had to be like this. Yeah, yeah. Water matches, desert matches, and I get, and this happens, so I'm moving up on him, and it is moving up on tech. Sure, I don't mind. Do it. Fine. Um, because maybe it'll be worthwhile. I mean, I, it's not like I needed more tech, so I, I moved up. I didn't get any tech. Say la vie. So that was that. His turn. Boom. They're both just taking whatever the tiebreaker is. He wants to move up on science. He got scared of me. And um, he doesn't take those, so he doesn't care. Oh, and Gray, for the first time, wants to move up on military, which doesn't do anything. Okay, fine. And now... So now is the danger. Is the danger. Instead, I mean, I could explore here and take a place, or I could conquer here. So either way, I could get in. If I conquer, I get resources. If I explore, I get whatever and some points. But... I run the risk of him having a trap, because once again, he's got three cards, and I run the risk of him doing military moves. But military is not as interesting to him. As you can see, it's way back. The thing he's most interested in is pursuing this. So this, because this is the closest building he's to, this is the closest ending. So I feel like, even though it's kind of dangerous, so that's the other thing. When you're playing against other human beings, you can see, oh, can they make a military move? Either because of the resources they got or because of where they are on the track. Right, he's totally safe. Yeah, if he moves up on military, it doesn't do anything to me. Right, I'm totally fine. Okay, so, do I want to do military or do I want to do another explore? I think I'll do another explore. Right, which means I'm coming here, which means I need to spend a food. Plus, it means I get closer to getting the space shuttle. So, I need to spend a food and two more things. Let's just go like this. Yeah, okay. And I have moved on. Oh, wait, oh, hold on a second, because it won't let me explore. It just lets me get more stuff. So I'd have to do this and then this again, which I won't have enough resources to do. So I think my exploring is done. So instead, I am going to conquer, which costs me this, and let's say that anyway. And so I am going to get another uh, barracks or armory. And where can I put it? I'll put it over here, and I now have a complete line. So that's going to be some points, not very many, but uh, some points. Okay, and I am going to conquer, which means I'm just trying to move into here. And I mean, he couldn't he couldn't counter back anyway because uh, there's nobody there. So I get some resources, either one food or a point, or uh, yeah, a point for everything I've conquered. One, two, three, four, five. <sighs> oh, I want the five points because I've conquered so much now, but I want the food as well because if the food, I could do another. No, I think I'll take the five points. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's it. Boom. And now, next turn, I'm going to move in on him. 
Yeah. Yes. I'll show you who's boss. Okay. So meanwhile, he says, hello, I'd like to do whatever the card says. And, um, you know, because it's a standard, it's not special. So he wants to move up on exploring. A little late for that, pal. And he wants to move up on military. Again, a little late. No biggie. Okay, my turn again. Now, military attack. Ah! But again, I could do military. Yes, I can. So, military attack! I get a tapestry card, which is what? It's a trap! That trap came a little late, pal. Where were you earlier? So, it's a trap, and um, I get to do another conquer, and I'm going to move in here. And again, he might have a trap. He's got three cards. There's only one way to find out, though. So, I'm going to conquer. And, um, right, so he goes down if he's got traps. Okay. No trap. Golden Ages. No trap. Pillage and plunder. No trap. Meritocracy. Boom! Okay. Down he goes. Now that has no effect on him other than it means he no longer controls this area, which means he can't expand from it, and he's only got two things he controls instead of three. Uh, but in the meantime, I now have one, two, three, four, five, and if I can topple one more of his, which means he has to uh, put a tile, and then if I topple it, I will have toppled two uh, opponents. And meanwhile, because I did this, I get four points or a... Oh. Four points or a culture. No, I think I'll take the four points. One, two, three, four. Because if I get that one culture, it's not enough to do another explore or another military. So I'd just rather take the points at this point. All right, so that's it. Boom! I made good, good use of that military. I've only got, I've only got one more shot to take him out. This is my last outpost. Wow, so I'm going to have to hold on to that for a while. So my military career is over. Meanwhile, he says, hi. I would like to move forward on exploring. And he says, I would like to move forward on my favorite. Boom, done. Oh, no, no, they don't. They don't. Yes, so, yeah, they do. Yes, they do. Because there's still cards for him to draw. Okay, my turn. So, I think it's time for me to rest again, which means I'm first, which means I'm going to get three more resources, and I have to figure out, do I want to just ha get ten points off of this trap? Now, I need to hold on to this in case he attacks me, because he could attack me over here. He could attack me. i got to hold on to this trap. Because if he does... Oh, I want him. I'm baiting him to trap me. Attack me, bro. Come at me, bro. I'll trap him, and then I'll get the completed. So, do I want to become a terraformer, academics, or dystopian? Gain any landmark from the landmark. Ooh, if I get a big landmark right now, I could get a 3x3, three three, fill this in, and then I've got three... Ooh. Yeah. And I get another resource, too? Yes, you know what? Our crazy, rampant campaign of militarism. We started out as simple entertainers. And you'll know, really develop the technology of, uh, of baking. But somehow, uh, I'm not going to say who was responsible for our rampant military expansion, but it has now led to a dystopic future for us. Okay. Um, right, so first of all, I get to activate. I get to take a tech card, or I get to do a, uh, an explore. Um, right. So if I do another explore... Nope. I, I don't want to take advantage of that anymore. So I think... Do I have a tech card I want to do? Oh, wow. Maybe I do want to do a tech card, because I don't know if... I could upgrade this to get some points off of everything I've conquered. I could upgrade this to explore, but I don't want to explore. Actually, I, mean, I don't mind exploring. I'll get, I'll get some resources or whatever. But... But I could bump this up to get three points, or this to get an extra food. No, oh, heck with it. Let's go on ahead and end. Uh, and, uh... Err, no, yeah, okay, I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna get a tech. And... The assembly line, if I bump it up, would allow me to do my top one, but my top one I can't do again because I've already got the cool building. So that's not particularly good. Three points in another big building, or uh, wood and another... Which means I'd be very, I'd start earning seven points every income phase, and I'd be really close to earning ten. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Let's just go on ahead and develop irrigation. Boom. All right. So I did my little entertainment bonus. I'm doing my dystopia, which means I'm the first to do it. So I get three resources. Uh, what do I want? I want to do some more exploring. One, two, three. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, because I want to get all the way up to exploring interstellar travel and then warp gates, because we're at the future now, folks. We're moving into the 21st century. So, um, but it's a dystopic one. So I got my three resources. When played, gain any landmark. 
I want to take a landmark that they're likely to get. They're just about to get this one. And they're... All right, so they can't get that one. They can't get that... Oh, and he's just about to get this one. But... So the best one for me to get is this one, which they're about to grab, which means they get more points. But it's this weird, funky shape. It's a 4x4x2x2. Four by four by two by two. I could put it in here. And it means I would fill up two of my rows, but not three. And I'd fill a little bit of this. Okay, fine. I'll take it. So I'll put it right there. I'll over, overlaps a little bit, but that's okay. And, right. So I didn't quite fill the space up. I don't get a resource, but I do have two full areas now. And so one, two, three. So uh, my dystopia led to our, oh, what is it? A rubber works. Okay. It's a rubber dysto dystopia. All right. So that's that. Now I get to do an upgrade. And I believe it will be this upgrade that I just got, because that puts another farm out here that thereby fills in the last space. Perfect. And I'm making seven points. So that was the upgrade. Now, how many points do I get? I get seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and um, 16, 17, 18, 19 points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 47, 57. Boom! That's how we do it. That was a big payday, and I've got one more to go. Um, so, anyway, I uh, got points, I got my upgrade, and now I get my income. I get some money, and I get two people, and I get one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm totally full of food, and um, one, two, culture. Oh, by the way, also, I get points based on the number of spaces, because we've developed team sports. One, two, three, four, five, six. I get six more points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeehaw! Okay, and I got my culture, so that was it for income, and I am done with that, and it is his turn, and he says... He says, okay, I'm going to rest now, too, because um, he's got no more cards and the hand came up, so he is going to rest. He just missed getting his four bonus points. Let's just see what he does. All right, am I still in the lead on my favorites? Yes and yes, so he doesn't change. He gets to roll the science die, and it moves up on here, which doesn't do him any good, unfortunately. Oh, no, actually, it wipes all of these. There would have been another one. They all got wiped to make space for three new ones, but that's it. That's all he's done. Um, so not really helping him that much. He gets points. Here's right. So he gets two points for, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. He gets 12 points for his first metric. So one, two, five, 10. And let's see over here, one point for every science and military. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So boom, boom. And, um, two points for every, so that's one, two, three, four. So that's eight. 9, 10, uh, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's 14 points. 2, 3, 4, 58. And he's right on my tail. Okay. And he gets two more cards to add to his deck. And he uh, gets uh, another card. He doesn't get that four points because I passed before him. He gets another potential trap. He reshuffles. And now we are moving into the final age for both of us, folks. Uh, we got a few more. And so far, nobody's made it to the end. And I've got a shot. I've got so much food. I got a shot of making it up here, which means 10 points for completing an advancement track before them. But he's pretty close to the end, too. Who is going to make it? It's anybody's guess. But I'm going to stop right there, folks, because that should give you a pretty good idea of what Tapestry is all about. And if you want to hear some final thoughts, you can hit that eye in the top right corner screen or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.